everybody, it is Mrs. Brinchak and today we're going to be making our very own science tool called a magnifying glass. So we're going to be using um, materials that you can find right around your home to magnify or make larger or it appears to be larger the materials or the specimens you put underneath this. So today I was inspired to do this video because of what's happening in the weather behind me. If you listen carefully, you're going to hear that it is raining outside. You hear it? I hear the raindrops. And it's been raining pretty much all morning and it's going to be raining a little bit longer into the day. But that's cool. That's great. We need the rain. It's very important for our plants and our animals to receive the amount of rain that they need to help them grow and thrive. So what I was inspired though is because when it's done raining, I usually love to go for a walk. And when I go for walks after it rains, sometimes I see little raindrops that were stuck on the leaves of trees or sometimes the flower petals of flowers nearby. And what I notice when I get very, very close to that little raindrop is that it makes the object underneath it, if I look in that raindrop, it makes it really, really big. So I can really observe the details of that flower petal. Or sometimes I can see the veins in that leaf um, from that tree when the, I look through that raindrop. So that inspired me today to be making our raindrop magnifying glasses. So how does this work? Well, when the raindrop or when we place a little bit of water on a surface, it usually will make a convex shape. And a convex shape kind of looks like a rainbow. It's just this little half rainbow or a rainbow on that surface, on that flat surface. And because of that, the way that the light comes through that drop of water, it changes the way that the light gets through that water. And that in turn allows the object below it to appear bigger and be able to be magnified. Now, the kind of the opposite of a convex curve which is this again, is going to be a concave curve. And if you are in my science class, you'll know that we check, you'll remember we check our rain gauge every day. And in our rain gauge tube, we have a concave um, lens right here. And that is the meniscus that we always look for. So the concave, it goes down and up and our convex comes up and over like that, like a rainbow. So today we're gonna to be using the water droplets to make a convex lens to allow us to change the way the light is going through that raindrop in order to see that object bigger. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna show you many different ways to do this because not everybody has all the materials. And so I really want you to be able to use whatever you have at your home. And so I just pulled a whole bunch of stuff together. So let's get started. I'm gonna move the camera down now so that you're gonna be able to see my workspace. All right. So I always have on hand a little paper plate, but you can also use any other kind of plate. And this is gonna be at the end for us to put our specimen in. So I'm gonna put that to the side. So the first th way we're gonna make our magnifying glass today is by using materials. Um, we're gonna use a toilet paper roll. You know how much Mrs. Brinchek loves using toilet paper rolls in class. We're gonna use a toilet paper roll and we're gonna use, and this is gonna be one thing we are gonna use a lot of, we're gonna use some plastic wrap. Now, some people have told me in the past, well, what if I don't have plastic wrap at my house? Well, I came up with a solution to that as well. If you have any kind of bread, or these are bagels from my house, and an adult says it's okay, any kind of clear plastic will work. You can just cut out a little small square of that, but make sure you're not cutting where your bread or other materials are for food because you don't want that to go bad. So again, you can use, if you don't have plastic wrap from a container, you can go around and look and see if an adult will allow you to use a little bit of clear plastic that you can find maybe from food packaging. All right, so we have our toilet paper roll, but now toilet paper rolls are kind of dark. So I don't want this tube to be this big. So I am going to cut it in half using my little scissors. And I just start by making a little snip. And then I'm gonna carefully put my scissors in. And I'm gonna cut around. Now, 
If you're not the best cutter, it is okay. It does not matter. You can use that other end. All right, so you can see I have a little bit of a rough edge. Again, that is okay. That is not gonna make a difference. So I have two tubes now. I only need one of these tubes. So I'm going to take this tube and I'm gonna put it on the table and I'm going to take my saran wrap and put it on top. Now, at this point, you can use several different things to kind of wrap it around. So I'm wrapping it around with my fingers. I want pretty much a nice, tight, flat surface on my tube. Now, I do not have a rubber band. If you have a rubber band, you could even put a little rubber band right here on top. Uh, if you have a little piece of tape, you can use tape around this to hold it. Or like me, you can just use the saran or the plastic wrap and just have it like that. So now what you're gonna do, this is it. This is your magnifying glass for this materials. So what you're gonna do then is put a little specimen right on your plate. And let's see, I'm gonna put a little piece of bread because I forgot to bring out my leaf and it's raining so I don't wanna go outside. So I'm just gonna, and again, you can put anything you want to make it look bigger. You just wanna see. So I'm gonna say, what does that little piece of bread look like magnified or bigger? So then I don't have an eyedropper. If you have an eyedropper, you can use an eyedropper. Um, I just have, I'm using a little teaspoon, a half teaspoon and a cup of water. So, cause again, we don't want a large amount of water or else you're not gonna get that really nice convex drop. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put a little tiny drop on top of my plastic wrap. And then I'm gonna look through my little drop and I'm looking and it has made a beautiful convex shape on my plastic wrap. And then I can look right at that piece of bread through it. And that piece of bread that I put under there does look bigger. So that is one way to use it and make a magnifying glass at home. Now we're gonna do another method in case you don't have a toilet paper roll. Now this method is going to use some either a couple of markers or a couple of pencils. You can use either, either or, so you can have some markers or some pencils. And this method is going to need some packaging tape. Now packaging tape is that super clear, large, uh, wider tape. So let's see if you can see that. Uh, that's my dog barking in the background. You see that tape? That's a wider tape. And that's gonna be important for this. All right, so if you're gonna use a couple of markers you have around your house, you're gonna put your markers right there on. Actually, we can do this. Put the markers right on that table. And you're gonna take a piece of packaging tape. It really doesn't matter how long. And you are just very carefully gonna put that packaging tape right on your markers. And then if I pick it up, you'll be able to see. See how I've taped my markers together? And this is providing the surface to make our magnifying glass. So now what we're gonna do, I have that nice flat surface. I'm gonna put my specimen, which is my little piece of bread, back on the plate. And then I'm gonna very carefully move my magnifier up. So now this isn't working too well, and you might find that you need to adjust as you go. So my markers are too big for this paper plate, so it's not making the plastic tape nice flat surface. So I'm gonna do it right on my table. So I'm gonna put the bread there, now we don't want that tape to stick to the bread. I just want a nice flat surface with my specimen underneath. And then very carefully, I'm gonna get my water and my teaspoon. I'm gonna put a small drop of water on that plastic. And you see I ended up getting three drops for that. And that is a-okay. So I've got my little drop of water on my plastic tape and I can look down into it <gasps> and my bread looks gigantic under there. So that is really cool. That's a second way to use uh, materials around your house to make a magnifying glass. All right, finally, the last method I'm gonna show you 
is going to use a plastic water bottle. Now, you can use any plastic water bottle you have handy if you do have one, but we do not want the water in it, so you're gonna have to dump that water out or drink it, hopefully this was an old one, and take the cap off, we don't need that cap. Use my scissors, I am going to cut that wrapper off, I do not want that wrapper. Now, this is one that gets a little trickier, so if this is the method you're going to use for making a magnifying glass, please ask your, your adults for help. This is something that you're probably gonna need a little bit of extra help making. So what we need to do next is we need to cut our water bottle. Now this water bottle is pretty crinkly, so it's not terrible to cut, but just like my toilet paper roll, I'm gonna make a little snip in the plastic and I'm gonna cut the top off. And we're doing the same method that we used with the toilet paper roll. So I'm cutting that top off of my water bottle. And then down on the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing. I gotta make a little cut. And I've gotta cut the bottom of my water bottle off. Now if you have a really tall water bottle, you're gonna wanna make it a lot shorter. All right, so I've cut the top and the bottom off of my water bottle. And now I have two open sides. And we're gonna do the same exact thing we did with the toilet paper roll. So I'm gonna get some more plastic wrap. And again, if you do not have plastic wrap at your home, you can look and see if you have any food packaging materials that an adult says it's okay, as long as it's a clear plastic. And then I'm gonna put the plastic right on top. And again, very carefully, just like with the toilet paper roll, because plastic wrap tends to be pretty sticky. I'm gonna use that since I do not have a rubber band at home. And just carefully wrap it around. There we go. All right. So now, what do we need to do next? We need to put a specimen on my plate. We need to put this on top of that specimen. And we need to make our drop, we need to make our convex droplet so that we can see that little piece of bread look a little bit bigger. So remember, we want a nice flat surface so we can make a drop. And then we look through it and there you go that piece of bread has been magnified so that means i can look at it and it looks a lot larger than it does when i look at it like this all right guys so that is how you are going to make your very own magnifying glass at home using materials that you have as a reminder you can use a toilet paper roll that you cut in half put some plastic wrap on and put your little drop of water right here your specimen underneath, the thing you want to make look larger. You can use some markers or pencils with packaging tape, if you have packaging tape, and create a place right here, the flat surface where you can place your water, and then put that near your specimen that you want to see look bigger. Or you can use a plastic water bottle that you cut the top off, you cut the bottom off and you add that plastic wrap, same as the toilet paper roll, and place your water droplet to create that convex shape to be able to look at your specimen underneath and make it look a lot larger. All right, guys, keep exploring the world around you. I hope now that you have your own magnifying glass, you get some really great observations of some nature and things around your home. I can't wait to hear about it. Take care.